great to have you. C-H-R-I-S-T-N, my H-E-A-R-T, and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y. I am a C. I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And I have C-H-R-I-S-T-N, my H-E-A-R-T, and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y. One more time. I am a C. I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N, amen, and I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T, and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y, yay. The Floating Axe Head. Do you think God knows about the tiniest ant crawling along? He does. He cares about little things. A long time ago, God showed someone how much he cared about a little thing. Elisha was visiting the school of the prophets at Gilgal. Another new student is starting today, someone told him, but there's hardly any room for him. This school needs more space. The students liked the prophet's visits. He answered their questions and listened to them. So they told him about the space problem. Prophet Elisha, a student began, we like it when you come and we like to have new students, but we have a big problem. We need more room. Prophet Elisha thought about it. The school really was too small. Yes, he agreed. This place is too small. Let's go to the Jordan River. We can build a place there where there's plenty of room, someone suggested, and there are plenty of trees to cut down for a larger building. A bigger space was so needed and more students would be able to come and learn about God so they could tell others. Yes, Elisha encouraged, that's a good idea. Go and get started. Then one of the students said, won't you please come with us? I will, Elisha replied, and he went with them. So they all met at the river and started working. Lots of trees had to be cut down to build a larger school. Everyone worked hard, chopping and cutting with axes. Suddenly, one of the students cried out, Oh, no, no, no. Everyone heard a big splash and turned to look. His axe, the axe head, was gone. No wonder the student was so upset. An axe was a very expensive tool. The axe head was made of iron, and it would be so hard to replace. It wasn't mine, the student moaned. I borrowed it. What will I do? How can I ever replace it? Elisha hurried to the young man's side. Where did the axe head fall into the river, he asked. The student pointed to the exact spot. Right there, he said. It just flew into the river, right there. Then Elisha did the strangest thing. He picked up a stick and threw it into the water, right where the axe head fell in. And up came the axe head, floating on the water. Lift it out, Elisha said to the young man. So the young man entered the water and waded to the axe head. He grabbed it and returned to shore where he fixed his axe handle. Now everyone knows that things made of iron can't float. So how did this axe head float? It was a miracle. God used Elisha to perform another miracle. Yes, God cares about the little things. He cares if we lose a borrowed tool or a favorite toy. He cares about all of your needs. 
The memory verse for today is serve each other with love. Galatians 5.13 We can help others even in small ways.
Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done.